batch recording say what <laughs> hi guys my name is dara this is dear hallmark and this is the space where i talk about all the hallmark channel movies tv shows and stuff so in this video i'm going to be doing two things i'm going to be doing a love you worry ranking so specifically ranking our hallmark february movies but I'm also going to be doing a, a February movie ranking in total because not only did I watch movies from Hallmark, I also watched movies from UpTV and GAC and we're going to see how they fared against each other. So let's start off with the Love You Wary ranking. And I was going to say in Love You Wary. In February, Hallmark gave us three movies. We got The Wedding Veil Unveiled, which premiered February 12th. The Wedding Veil Legacy, which premiered February 19th, and then the February 20th, literally the one I just talked about, uh, February 26th, the one that closed us out, Welcome to Mamas. Now, I did a preview episode on the Instagram, and I said my ranking then was Wedding Veil Unveiled first, Welcome to Mamas second, and Wedding Veil Legacy third. Here, I'm going to give you all three. I'm just going to give you the ranking and then give you my decision process. My ranking is all screwed up now. I have at number three, The Wedding Veil Unveiled. At number two, The Wedding Veil Legacy. At number one, Welcome to Mamas. And here is why I ranked it this way. The Wedding Veil Unveiled, I did not care about the veil in one iota of an atom of a molecule of care. There was none. Didn't care about the veil. All I cared about was Italy, the family, and the food. Um, it ran, when they started talking about the veil's history, it just got a bit slow. I found myself on my phone, found myself talking to my friend who was watching it with me. So there's that. But I it just didn't do it for me. I think the overall hypeness and like brouhaha of the wedding veil didn't really live up to the hype for me in this movie. Again, I loved Paolo, loved Italy, loved Autumn, loved the food, but because it's about the veil and I didn't really care about the veil, like that, that goes third for me. Number two, the wedding veil legacy. Allison and Victor killed it. Their chemistry was spot on. They didn't even care about the wardrobe, didn't care about the setting. The story was more intriguing to me on all cylinders. Loved Allison in this. Loved how much we saw the girlfriends in this together in person, not over Zoom or on a, on a FaceTime, you know. I really enjoyed this movie. I really did. And then... Welcome to Mamas was just such a surprise. It was such a breath of fresh air. It was so cold. It was such culture and family and love and food. Like I felt it. And it was the, do I want to say it was the, I don't think it was the underdog per se, but because out of all the movies we got in February, this is the one where we didn't know anybody. At least for me, I, I believe the woman, um, the woman who played Mama, she's, from the sopranos but i've never watched the sopranos um that's what i heard through the apple tree you know through the grapevine but um loved her in that welcome to my, like the acting the performances the storytelling oh i just enjoyed it so much and so welcome to mama's I, it was it was a surprise it was such a surprise for me and so again my love you way ranking the Wedding Veil Unveil coming in at bronze. The Wedding Veil Legacy coming in at silver. And then Welcome to Mama's coming in at gold. Now the question, because I saw all of the movies from all of the networks for the month of February, how did these three movies fare against those other movies? Now, Up TV gave us four movies. GAC gave us one. Up TV gave us uh, Listen Out for Love which is a movie about a podcast. I did a review on it here. Uh, the Story of Love, which is um, focuses a, a romance novelist and an outdoors guy. Also did a review. There are two that I watched that I didn't do reviews of. The third one, The Song of My Heart, it was about a poet and a musician, a poet who's scared to put her poetry to music because she had a bad... She had a relationship go bad because a boyfriend of hers stole her poems, used it as lyrics for his song. Stole one of her poems, I should say. 
Lastly, A Wedding to Remember. That's the latest Up TV movie that premiered Sunday this past... So Sunday was the 27th. Yeah. Sunday the 27th. That one starred Grayson Holt, who we know from Across Country Christmas. And I think he's on the season five of Chesapeake Shores. That one is about is enemies to lovers, best man, maid of honor, helping their best friends who are the bride and groom, like help them repair their relationship so the wedding doesn't get completely canceled. And then GAC gave us Harmony from the Heart, starring Jessica Lowndes and Jesse Metcalf. It's about a musical therapist and a doctor. Um, he doesn't believe in love or he, he also doesn't believe in the therapeutic properties of music. He doesn't see it as credible, I don't think. And um, Jessica's character, Violet, is trying to prove him otherwise. I did a review of this movie on the podcast. So if you want to check it out, I reviewed it with Nicole from the Swing My Heart podcast. So be sure to check the the show notes. I keep That's what I use for podcasting. Be sure to check the description box for the link for that. Okay, let's get into the ranking. At number eight is Up TV's The Song of My Heart. It took me three days to watch this movie, you guys. Please just don't watch it. It's It's... It's not good, it's boring, it's slow, and I didn't care. <laughs> Number seven is Listen Out for Love. Um, while I believe they had somewhat of good chemistry, the leads, I think because of all of the movies that we got this month, the story just didn't matter in the grand scheme of things. I love the older woman in this movie. She was fire, her short haircut was stellar, but I think the story was just muddled out by some, some other great movies. That's, that's kind of it. Number six, A Wedding to Remember. This was cute, but much like Listen Out for Love, there were some stronger, better, more captivating stories and also performances that captivated my attention more than this movie did. Number five is Wedding Veil 2. This is one that I would definitely rewatch, but only for Italy and Paolo and the family. It's kind of it. Number four. So that, that was my bottom four, my top four. Number four, Harmony from the Heart. I really enjoyed Jessica and Jesse's chemistry. This was the only Valentine's Day themed movie that we got this month. I will say in Listen Out for Love, which was number seven, they did give us like little inklings, like the sleeves of the coffee cups were pink. Her nails, I think, were painted red or pink, but they were extremely subtle, like subtle Valentine's Day things. Whereas Harmony from the Heart, Valentine's threw up in that joint. Like there was red hearts everywhere. They were making Valentine's Day cookies. They had to get something done by Valentine's Day. There was a countdown of Valentine's Day tear off calendar that was moving us throughout the movie like it was a lot and i loved it number three is wedding veil three allison and victor killed it the chemistry the city the food the art the work husband loved it loved it loved it love it all number two welcome to mama's love this movie again the italian the culture the sentimentality the romance the food the the new york of it all i loved it but this movie takes the cake for me the story of love starring britney bristow and franco depresti wait what is it franco lopresti this movie was fun there was banter i laughed out loud at times there were high stakes I loved how Britney um, gave us that insecure accountant trying to be a romance novelist. I love um, Franco's character, Woody, trying to downplay that he has feelings for her or that he's attracted to her. Like, it was it was so fun. And I, I really think it's worth, it's worth a look-see. Uh, I need to... I'll be sure to put in the description to see if it's coming on again soon. Hopefully... Because I know Up TV, during the week, they do a lot of Reba and Gilmore Girls Marathon. So, I don't know when we're going to see this next. But, um, yeah. So, let's do a quick recap of all of my February movies that I've watched. The ranking. At number eight is The Song of My Heart by Up TV. 
Number seven is Up TV's Listen Out for Love. Number six is Up TV's A Wedding to Remember. Number five, we have Hallmark's Wedding Veil 2 Unveil or Wedding Veil Unveiled. Number four, we have GAC's Harmony from the Heart. Number three, we have Wedding Veil Legacy, Hallmark. Number two, we have Hallmark's Welcome to Mamas. And then at number one, we have Up TV's The Story of Love. So you guys, let me know what your Hallmark ranking is. Did you watch all of the movies from the different networks like I did? Will you watch some? Like I said, I'm going to be doing a March, or not March, a spring preview as well for the podcast because as I'm recording this, E.T. just dropped the exclusive for Hallmark's April movies, which is going to continue Spring Into Love. So we are going to get, there's going, there's going to be a round two of movies that we're going to be getting, which I am excited about. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your ranking in the comments. I look forward to engaging with you guys there. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and to the podcast. And be sure to follow Dear Hallmark on Instagram. Until next time, watch a movie. Love on somebody. Life's too short. I'll talk to you guys in the next episode.